Maybe if you're cardio conditioning, it is 100% body weight and no repeat. So once you've done it, you have done it. So let's get ourselves warmed up. We're going to get started with our 10 jumping jacks. Whether it's high impact or low impact jack. Once you have done 10 jacks, we're going to alternate 10 front lunges. Keep the lunge nice and small. We're just wanting to get hips, knees, ankles nice and warmed up, ready to rock and roll. We're going to do five on the left, five on the right to make our 10. Then we're going to go into some leg swings, front and back. So feel free to hold on to something if you need to. We'll do 10 swings per leg. And we just want to get that hip joint a little bit more warmed up, ready to go. Find a focal point for the eyes that will help with your balance. Keep that core nice and tight. 10 and 10, and then once you have done your swings on each leg, come down onto your mat. High plank or push-up position. So you're on your hands, you're on your toes. We're gonna do a spider climb with a rotation. So take one foot, set it nice and wide to the same hand, open that hand up. Set that hand back. Same thing on the other side. Eyes follow the hand and ceiling, getting into that hip, chest, and shoulder. Once you have done five on the left, five on the right, so 10 total, stay down in your high plank position, and we'll finish off with either a plank toe tap or 10 plank jacks. So either jump or set the feet out for 10, you choose. And then we are going to rock and roll. All right, so all body weight, no repeats. So once you've done it, you've done it. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And we're going to start with the body weight squat. That is your first 30 seconds. The next 30 seconds, just so that you know where you're heading, is we're going to do a squat reverse lunge combination, staying all on one side. And then we're going to switch, and then I'm just going to talk you guys through the rest. All right, so make sure you've got a mat, make sure you've got some water. 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go, body weight squats. So sit and stand. Chest up, keep that core tight. And I want you to sit back in those heels, keeping a nice tall posture. And because we're body weight, I want you to see if you can pick up that pace a little bit. So the goal is to get that heart rate up. We're going to try and keep it up as much as we can for the whole workout. We got five seconds left. There it is. Ten second break. Squat, reverse lunge. So I need you to pick a leg left or right for that lunge. Got two seconds. One squat, one lunge. Squat, lunge. Find that focal point for the eyes again. You want to keep your eyes up. Try not to look down at your feet. Keep those abs nice and tight. And sit those hips back into the squat. Drop that knee down into the lunge. Ten seconds. We'll shake these legs out and do the exact same thing on the other side. Come on. Woo. Shake it out. Rinse and repeat, guys, on the other side. Then we get to move on. Squat, lunge. Again, eyes are up. Keep that core tight. Sit that butt back. Drop that knee down. Nice, big, full range of motion if you can. Come on. If you need to keep it more shallow, totally fine. Just don't stop. All right, five seconds left on that clock. Ten second break coming up. We're going to go into some front kicks. So I want you to think of using your core to lift the knee up. Go into that front kick, set the foot down. Alternating left and right. Here we go. Kick. Kick. Again, I don't care how high that leg gets up. You can kick down here. You can kick up to the ceiling. You choose. Just keep that core nice and tight. Use those abs to draw that knee up. And then kick out in front. 10 seconds, guys. We're going to go back into a reverse lunge with a knee drive. All right, pick a side left or right. So we're going to tap that back into a reverse lunge, drive 
that knee up, tackle back. Sit it down, here we go. Now the lower you can get into the lunge position, the more you're gonna feel that front leg work, the more upright you stay, the easier. So that's how you can modify this exercise. We got 10 seconds, come on. We're gonna shake these legs out and get set up on the other side. That's it, three, two. Woo. Shake it out. We gotta do the same thing on the other side, guys. All right, you ready? Tap that foot back. Here we go, drive that knee in. Keep your eyes on the floor, we want that nice neutral spine. Abs nice and tight. Pump through those arms and get as low as you can in that lunge position. As you get tired, feel free to come up out of that lunge a little bit. 10 seconds, come on. We're gonna go into a curtsy lunge, lateral lunge combination. Woo. All right, let's go back to that first leg. So we're gonna do one curtsy, one lateral. You ready? Swing that leg around and back. Take that back leg, step it out to the side. One curtsy, one lateral. Find a focal point for the eyes. Keep that chest up, push that hip back, push that hip out. Good, 10 seconds. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Feel free to grab water, guys, whenever you need it. In four, three, two. Woo, a couple of nice big deep breaths. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna need to find your mat. All right, one curtsy, one lateral. Push that hip out, push that hip out. Find that focal point for the abs. Don't look down at your feet. Get nice and low into that lunge. Come on, we have about 10 seconds left. We're gonna find your mat. We're gonna stand in front of it. And we're gonna do some surrenders, but we don't stand up all the way. All right, find your mat. We're gonna kneel, and we're only gonna come up part way, and then come back down. See if you can alternate your legs for me. All right, down, down, and up. So don't stand up all the way. Stay down in this half squat position. Alternate those legs if you can. Take your time with it. No rush, we've got 10 seconds left. And then we're gonna do some high knees or running on the spot. Woo, all right, high knees. Now, if you have a set of stairs close by, feel free to run the stairs as an alternative. Here we go, get those knees up. Walk through those arms. You got it, guys. Come on. We're going to move into some core work, starting with some plank toe taps next. So everyone on their forearms, I want you to get low in that plank position for me. Come on, five seconds. Keeping those hips down, core nice and tight. 
Watch that your hips don't drop or pop it up. Keep them nice and square. We have five seconds left. And then I need you to pick a side left or right. Whew. All right, side plank hip dips. You can do this from a full side plank position or a modified. We're gonna pop it up, drop that hip, and lift. Good, getting that hip up as high as you can. Feel that whole underside tighten right up. Keep that shoulder and elbow lined up. Start on the toes, drop down to a modified if you need to so that you can keep going. Five seconds, and we're gonna drop and roll. You got it, guys. Same thing, other side. From a full side plank or modified, or do a bit of both. Pop it up, drop that hip, lift it up, good. Make that range as big as you can. I want you to feel that whole other side oblique, hip, contract, in order to get that hip up. Good. We got 10 seconds, we're gonna come onto our back. We're gonna do a straight leg bicycle. So we're gonna start with one leg up, one leg down, hands behind the head, and we're gonna bring elbow to opposite knee, and then switch. If you find keeping the legs straight too much, then just bend and go into a regular bicycle. Keeping that back push down into the floor, make those legs as big as you can. You got it, come on. Smaller legs will be easier, bigger legs will be harder. 10 seconds left, and then we flip it over. You got it guys, come on. That's a total lie, stay where you are. <laughs> Feet up. We're gonna do a toe touch crunch. So we're gonna reach our hands towards those shoelaces. Reach. Now if this starts to bother your neck, then I want you to put your hands behind the head. We're still driving your back into that mat, using those abdominals to lift the shoulders and reach for those shoelaces. You got it guys, come on, 10 seconds. We're gonna bend those knees, hands behind the head, reverse crunch, next. Good, bend the knees to about 90, hands behind the head, we're gonna come into a ball, and then release. Woo. Think of using those abdominals to lift the shoulders, tuck that pelvis under, pull those knees into the chest, even hold for an extra second. If you really want to feel that contraction, come on. You got it, guys. Stay with me. We're going to flip it over when that timer goes. There it is. All right, everyone's on their hands, either from the knees or toes. We're going to do some up down planks. So, again, start with the hardest version for you. Do as many as you can, and then make it easier. Alternating those hands that go down first. Keeping that belly button pulled up into the spine. Remember the same thing can be done from the knees. Watch that your hips don't get left up in the air. Make sure they don't start dropping down to the floor. Good, we have a five seconds left, guys. We're gonna stay in this position. We're gonna do one push up, and then we're gonna push those hips back onto our heels, almost like a child's pose. Knees or toes. So, from the knees, one push up, one push back. One push up, one push back. From the toes, same thing. One push up, one push back. Good. Drop that chest straight down between the hands, guys. Keep that core nice and tight. We got 10 seconds left. We're gonna stay in this high plank position. We got some mountain climbers. Whew. All right, everyone's on hands and toes. If you need to make this easier, 
Get your hands off the floor. A chair, staircase, coffee table. And we're gonna mountain climb. We're gonna run those knees into the chest. Keeping those hips down. Don't let your butt get up in the air. Hips nice and square to the floor. If you need to make it easier, slow it down. But see if you can run the whole 30 seconds. 10 seconds left, guys, and then stand up. In five, four, three, two. Nice work. Come on up. We're gonna do walkouts. So wider feet, easier on those hamstrings. Hands come down. Walk out the plank, come back, just touch the toes, walk it out again. Now, when you walk it out, don't leave your butt here, don't let your hips drop. Finish strong. We've only got 10 seconds left. You got it, guys, come on. And then we're gonna lie down flat on our stomach, on your mat. We're gonna come up into a back extension. So we're gonna lift the chest off the floor and we're gonna hold it. All right, you ready? So elbows at 90, I want you to lift the chest and hold. Keep your feet down, squeeze your butt to lift the chest. Keep your eyes on the floor. Nice neutral position in that neck. Breathe through it. Holding that isometric contraction. You got it, guys. We have that 10 second break one, and then we're gonna just change up. We're gonna change this Superman up. So now I want you to bring your arms out like the letter T. So as you come up, we're gonna come up with the arms at the letter T, and then lower back down. Here we go. Keep those feet down for me. Squeeze that butt to lift the chest. Lift those arms up. Feel that mid-back contract. Take your time with this one, guys. Catch your breath here. You got it. When the timer goes, we're going to come onto our forearms and onto our toes. All right, low plank position. So forearms and toes. When the timer goes, we're going to rotate and open up. Come back to center, rotate and open up. Keep your feet a little bit wider to allow them to move from side to side. Now, if you want to do this from the knees, you can. You're gonna open up, you'll straighten out that top leg as you rotate. Good, we've got 10 seconds left, guys. We're gonna stay in the plank position, but we're gonna pop it up onto our hands. You got it. So we're on our hands and we're on our toes. What we're gonna do, hand touch, hand touch. Pop it up for me. Tap your hand, tap your hand. Good. Keep your hands under the shoulders, don't let them get too wide. Keeping those hips down nice and square to the floor. Woo. So make sure this doesn't start to happen. Make sure this doesn't start to happen. Drop to the knees if you need to. We got five seconds left. And then we're gonna do a super slow push up. When I mean super slow, 15 seconds lower, 15 seconds to come back up. You guys ready for this? Here we go, 15 seconds, come on. Slow, 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 slow. I'll tell you when to start pushing back up. Five seconds, we go back up, come on. Three, two, come on, back up, come on. 15 seconds to come up. Fight it, fight it, 10 seconds. Fight it, fight it. In five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, come on up guys, get that mat out of the way. Shake that out. All right, we're gonna tap the foot back. We're gonna bring the knee to hand. Tap it back, knee. Bring those arms up and overhead for me. Keep that core tight. Think of your abs pulling the knee in and bringing the arms down. 15 seconds, come on. 
Go as fast as you can with good form. Five seconds, guys. Grab a quick drink if you need it. We got one more side. Whew. All right. We got to do that other side. And then we got everybody's favorite. You ready? Good. Just tapping that foot back. We're not going into a lunge. We're keeping our weight on that front leg. We're using those abs to pull the arms down and pull that knee in. Come on. 10 seconds. 10 second break. And then burpees. Four, three, two. Burpee time. We only gotta do this once, guys. There's no other variations, I promise. You ready? Jump it, step it, or elevate the hands. Here we go. Whew. Or do some variation of it. If you wanna drop that chest right down to the floor, by all means. If you wanna jump up as you stand up, go for it. 10 seconds, guys. Come on. In five, four, three, two. <sighs> Couple nice big deep breaths. We're gonna alternate lateral lunges, left and right. Woo. Feet together, here we go. Step it out, together. Out, together, eyes are up. Don't look at your feet. Keep those abs tight. Push that hip out. Make your step as big as you can. Nice work, guys. Come on, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And we're gonna do some nice rapid fire punches out in front. In four, three, two. Walk it out. Grab a couple of nice big deep breaths. We're gonna soften those knees. Hands are up. We're gonna punch out, pull it back. So, nice and quick, guys. Quick, 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 quick. Keep those knees soft. Walk those feet into place. Don't let them move. So I don't want any movement through the hips. Just those arms, come on. We've only got two moves left. 10 seconds. We're back down on the floor. High plank or push-up position. We're gonna do this plank knee tuck. So I need you to pick a knee. Left or right, we're on our toes. From here, I want you to tuck that knee in and then bring it back. So you're gonna let that back round out as you draw that belly button into the spine. Bring that chest in to help meet the knee. Hold for an extra second. Feel those abs tighten up. Good, five seconds. Alright, we gotta do the same thing on the other side. And then we've only got one move left. Alright, you ready? Pop it up. Tuck that knee in. Set it back. Tuck it in. Draw that belly button into the spine, guys. Use those abs to pull that knee in. This is a place we're gonna slow it down. Catch our breath a little bit. Ten seconds left. And then we stand back up. Good. In five, four, three, two. All right, make sure your mat is out of the way. All right, hands behind the head. One squat, knee to elbow. Alternating sides, here we go. Eyes are up. See if you can get that knee and elbow to touch. Work those obliques. Use those abs to pull the knee up and cross that elbow to the knee. 10 seconds, guys, come on, and then we're done. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Grab some water, guys. 
Make sure you take some time. Just stretch out everything. Job well done on this cardio conditioning. No repeat. Body weight workout. You guys all did awesome. Have an amazing rest of your day. And I'm going to see you guys in the next class.